Here's from Bleacher Report. The day you retired from the NFL, which was today in 2011, Bleacher Report, Channing Crowder retires the top 10 quotes from his career. Okay. Says outspoken linebacker Channing Crowder announced his sudden retirement on Tuesday just over a week after the Miami Dolphins released him after six seasons. Crowder was never shy about speaking his mind, and sometimes it came back to bite him. Perhaps the Dolphins released him so early in his career because they were tired of his troublesome mouth. Here are the top 10 quotes from his career. Did they release you because of your mouth? No, they released me because they asked me to take a pay cut, and I wouldn't. And um, they wanted to get Carlos Dansby more money. I knew what happened. It was because of your mouth, because when they asked you to take the pay cut, I know what you told them. <laughs> it's my butt. I'm not taking a pay cut. It's the dumbest thing in the world. Number 10, speaking about himself, people always expect me to be some sort of monster. I might be a little crazy, but I wouldn't say I'm a monster. That seems like a fair quote. I like that. I remember it, Floyd. It's honestly, I've told this story. I know you heard it, Hawk. When I got like now with my media thing, like I really do not care what anybody thinks about me. And it was during my time at Florida, one of my arrests. And I remember reading the Gainesville Sun and it said they need to keep this animal in the cage till Saturday afternoon. And at that venture, I said, you know what? F what people think about me. I'm going to do whatever the hell I want and you can deal with it or not. Number nine, hinting that he sold game jerseys when he played at Florida. Quote, I'll say hypothetically, I don't have any more of my Florida jerseys. There were some Jacksonville businessmen that really hypothetically liked my play. Makes a lot of sense. I remember you now, in trouble for that, I think, right? Now they're giving kids a million dollars as freshmen, and I can't sell a jersey for a couple grand. Just think about how times have changed. Number eight on Florida's struggles after replacing Tim Tebow with John Brantley. They don't have an identity. They don't know what John Brantley don't know what he wants to do. He can't outrun anybody. I saw him get run down by a white linebacker last week, which was a disgrace to all of Florida football history. Genius quote. <laughs> <laughs> this young, I, I love this young crowd. I like him more than I like myself now. This guy's interesting here. <laughs> this one's about your dad. This is when you still had a bad relationship, I'm guessing. Speaking about his father, Randy Crowder, played in the NFL in the 70s. The only thing I learned from him was about messing up. So I'll try to be a better father than he was. Yeah. It was true. When I first got that, we told the story. When I first got to the league, all through college, me and Randy didn't talk. And so at that point, everybody's like, hey, you you know, you're one of the only father-son combinations that ever be drafted to the same team and all this stuff. We actually talked to Joey Porter and his son, and we were talking about how him and his son got drafted to the Steelers, you know, the same thing. But at that point in my life, I, me and Randy weren't talking. So I was being honest. You have since mended fences with your dad, oh. and he's a big part of your life. Oh, that's my ace boom coon right there. That's my that's my guy there. He's a he's a, a you know what? A <laughs> lot of I, I'll tell you this, Hawk. You're gonna see, you'll see it here coming up soon. Your son's getting a little older. People are way better grandparents than they are parents. I'm not taking a shot at anybody, but everybody knows I'm honest with this. There are people that their grandparenting skills are all pro. They were they were borderline ridge make the roster parents, but their grandparenting skills are amazing. My grandfather was my ace. <laughs> Marlins are leading. Room. Brian De La Cruz homered. Marlins are leading the Reds 5-4 in the top of the ninth. So I take everything back that I said during the headlines when I said uh, they weren't able to build on yesterday. <laughs> Your ace, Number huh? six, Channing Crowder speaking about former New York Jets and Florida State running back Leon Washington. We do not like each other. <laughs> With Florida State, I hated him. I hate him now. If I see him out, I'm not going to talk to him. I'm not going to slap him, but I'm not going to be pleasant. Every time he sees me, 
he starts cussing. I see him and I start cussing. It's going to be like that the whole game. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> a lot of this stuff now has changed. Like we just talked about the stuff with my dad has changed. <laughs> Leon Washington hates me and I hate him still. Like still. I, we're not gonna we're not gonna fight. We just our personalities just clashed. I used to go to um, to Tallahassee and party. Like, I would purposely go to Tallahassee as an All-American Florida turf. linebacker just to mess with the Florida State guys. Like, I don't know if maybe these quotes are going to kind of show people 18-year-old Crowder, but I, I was a little bit of a butt wipe, and I had no apologetic bone in my body. Number five. Speaking about the undefeated New Orleans Saints in 2009. <laughs> do you know this one? I do know this one. <laughs> <laughs> They're undefeated. They're probably smelling themselves, rubbing each other's balls. <laughs> what kind of quote is that? Because... <laughs> <laughs> they told we were, we would we we had like a two game winning streak as well, and the see the question of that the, that whatever reporter approached me Hawk, was like, oh do y'all think you're getting a little too calm you know we're going to this game too confident and I was like, we're like three we're like two and three but we have a two game winning streak they're undefeated <laughs> like that was my point but like they're over there rubbing each other's balls like what would we be doing that for, but. I, as a 40-year-old man now, I, I see how the criticism was created. Number four, speaking about the NFL's crackdown on helmet-to-helmet -helmet hits. If they're going to keep making us go more and more and more, not like this sport, we're going to end up wearing pink every game, not just breast cancer month. If I get a chance to knock somebody out, I'm going to knock them out and take what they give me. They give me a helmet. I'm going to use it. <laughs> that that made USA Today. Did it really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is right when the whole like CTE stuff. This might have mm. been the concussion movie came out, and you didn't. Uh, you're supposed to you, be you sensitive. Weren't, uh, to you those weren't towing things. the company line there. No. And you know what? Honestly, I used to get fined so much that like just I would be I would be pissed off just talking about helmet to helmet stuff because they were fining me five, seven thousand dollars a week. And I'm like, man, y'all can go to hell. You gave me a helmet. Don't give me a helmet. Maybe man, maybe play with a tape on my head if you don't want me to use it. But that was old crowd. I'm a new man, Huck. Number uh, three is the back and forth with Rex Ryan. We've talked about that a number of times yeah. on this uh, show. That was a good one. Yeah, number it's fun. two. I, I've seen I've seen Rex recently, and we we still laugh about that today. Oh, I bet he loved you. I mean, you were his type of player, man. Yes, yes. Number two, venting after a loss to the Ravens in 2010. LeRon McLean spit in my face. That's some real ho bleep. So if you talk to him. <laughs> Tell him he's a hoe. If he, ever, if he ever comes to Miami, he's got to see me. They said they didn't see it, talking about the officials. Then they said something about they let Carlos Dansby get away with a face mask before. Who the F cares? I just got spit in my face. I don't give a damn about Carlos Dansby pulling somebody's face mask. Like they didn't see Chad Henney get hit twice when he slid. No, no, they say, ah, Stevie Wonder and Anne Frank. Who's the blind girl? <laughs> Helen Keller? I don't know who Anne Frank is. I'm mad right now. I'm not as swift <laughs> as I usually am. Oh, I just got spit on. I just had spit rolling down my left cheek, and now you want to throw a camera in front of me. I What did you expect me to do? So if LaRon McClain is listening, you're a hoe. <laughs> but don't take that out of context, bloggers. I, you know what? I recently, on this show, it was about a year ago, I... I 
publicly let my feud with LeRon McClain go because he came out, he was saying crazy stuff, and he kind of had some mental health issues. I remember. Yeah, and I had to come out on this show and say, you know what? I can't be mad at a crazy person. LeRon. He's going, he's going through stuff, and it's over. You're you're off. Cause we know this. You know the name, Hawk, on site. He was on my on-site list for a long time. He long now time. has been removed from my on-site list. And then the number one quote, all time from Channing Crowder, according to Bleacher Report. I think you can guess what it is, right? London. London, indeed. <laughs> As the Dolphins were going to uh, the NFL game in London in 2007, I couldn't find London on a map if they didn't have the names of the countries. I swear to God, I don't know what nothing is. I know Italy looks like a boot. I learned that. I know London Fletcher. We did a football camp together. So I know him. That's the closest thing I know to London. He's black, so I'm sure he's not from London. I'm sure that's a coincidental name. <laughs> As you see, I love 22-year-old Crowder, man. This dude, this dude was something special. Just for edification, <laughs> if you're new to the show, there are plenty of black people in London. <laughs> this dude's this crowd is a winner. <laughs> you were something, man. Oh, boy. <laughs> you were something. I was, man, I, to, to be honest, talk, well, we've talked about it. I did not know that people cared this much about what folks thought, like what players thought. Like, I would... I just tackle people for a living. Well, you were a rarity. You were a rarity because every every player knows what they can say easily to get out of any question, and you were a rarity. (laughs) Honesty. I'm an honest guy, Hawk. What would Jesus do? I think you knew where London was. I still don't know where London is. (laughs) (laughs) I have no idea. There you go. That's our celebration of Channing Crowder, the anniversary of his retirement from the NFL, which was 12 years ago.